Last week we went over how to do glute ham raises, but that's not the only exercise you can do on this piece of equipment. From the same position, back and hip extensions can be done. How you position yourself will determine which muscles are emphasized. If your hips are supported on the pads, the movement will come from the back extensors. Bringing yourself forward so that your waist is hanging off the pads will allow you to hinge the hips to hit the hamstrings and glutes. Hip extensions can also be done by setting up in reverse on the bench. Grab the handles on the foot plate with your legs hanging off the bench and then raise up by straightening the hips. Holding the bottom position of the glute ham raise can be combined with other movements such as rear deltoid flies or dumbbell rows to build low back endurance while improving posterior shoulder strength. To do sit-ups on the bench, hook your feet into the stirrups with your hips hanging off the edge. Set up with a soft bend in your knees and lean back to parallel. Initiate the sit-up by straightening your knees to pull yourself back into the starting position. From the same setup, you can also do the supine plank. With your hips hanging off the edge, maintain a straight line from head to toe to prevent your torso from dipping below parallel. Add in some accessory pressing work to your core exercise by grabbing a dumbbell and doing the diesel press. We recommend doing it one arm at a time so that you still have a free hand to get yourself into position.